Hi, I'm David Herford. I've been the director of the Center for Reading for its inception, actually, for the last 25 years. And I want to talk to you a little bit about what dyslexia is and what reading difficulties are, because I think a lot of people really don't understand what that's about. Firstly, for children who have dyslexia, it's actually a neurological issue. Uh, their brains were built a little bit differently than kids who are good readers and everyone's brain is built a little bit different. That's why some people are good at research and some people are good at drawing and some people are good at music because we're all different neurologically. But unfortunately in this case, children who have reading difficulties, there's several parts of the brain that don't really develop like other children's brain and that's genetic. So it isn't their fault. It's not that they're not intelligent. Of course, if you're looking at this, you probably have a child who has a reading difficulty and you know they're intelligent. So you know that's not the difficulty. But we know that today, roughly 15 to 20 percent of children have dyslexia. And they're not the only ones who have reading problems. In the United States today, there are about 34 percent of individuals who cannot read very well. In fact, in school, they're assessed for their reading skills and 34 percent do not read at the basic level, which is a rudimentary ability to read. So if they're not reading at the basic level, that means they're really not reading or not reading very well. And unfortunately for these children, this caused a lot of frustration for them as they go to kindergarten and first grade and they see their friends learning how to read and they know they're intelligent or at least they thought they were intelligent. And now you see these other children who are learning how to read and they're not. And so we see children at our center who have anxiety about going to school. You know, they say that their stomachs hurt and they don't really feel good enough to go to school. And those are real things, that's anxiety. They have anxiety about going to school because they don't like the fact that they're having difficulty learning how to read and their friends seem like they're reading very easily. And so that anxiety will often kind of morph into depression in first and second grade, and it actually gets worse than that. So when we talk about reading difficulties, it's not just an academic problem, but it can be a social one as well. Okay, the good news about reading difficulties is for the past 40 years, we've been studying what the problems are with individuals who have difficulty learning how to read. And as a science, we understand how to help children become competent readers. And actually it was in the 1920s that individuals started looking at dyslexia and seeing what can be done to help. But today, the good news is we can help. So if you have a child or if you have a friend who's an adult who has reading problems and they want to become a competent reader, you can come here. We're willing to help. And we never turn a person away because of inability to pay. Our fee schedule is based on family income and it's all reasonable because we're here to help your child or your friend or you become a competent reader. He's excited about reading. Um, he's excited to work on his stories and um, he, he really gets into, and it's something else I think that gives him um, a different point of view than what he gets um, in like his help with reading in normal school. She takes her time reading. She understands that, you know, making sure that she pronounces and sounds out the word, it's, you know, it's going to take time at the very beginning of reading. So she just, she's taking her time more and stuff like that. So there's a lot of tricks when we went through um, the secret code this summer with the silent E, making you know, a vowel long and stuff like that. So it helped out because then when she was in school, she had actually spelling words that was the same way. It's so nice to have this program here and be able to kind of just run in and he can get the help that he needs and again, be back home and in a, in a convenient manner.